Welcome to Monumation. I'm Monty. This is the second video in how to create a website series. First, let's set environment variable for Sublime Text Free. In the command prompt, change directory to the C drive. And type the setlex command. Here, the setx command modifies the global environment, not the local one. So we have to restart the command prompt to make it effective. But I want to continue my work right now. I add this line instead. Here, the set command sets the path for current use only. Okay, let's create a website folder. Go to the web group folder. And then make a website folder and name it Simple Site. Oh, this folder name is already exist. Make another name. Go to the folder first. And then create a home page. And type SUBL to open the Sublime Text Editor. Now the Sublime Text is opened. Click on the File tab. Open folder. And find your website. My site. This is the folder just created. Click on this and select folder. Here you can see we create the index.html here. Now we go to this page. This is for HTML tutorial. I grab this. And right click and click copy. And go back to our sublime text and paste it. And then click save. Now we can preview the index page by clicking on the browser sync tab. Click on browser sync. Start file, launch. Wait for seconds. The page will be automatically displayed in the web browser, just like this. If you cannot find the browser sync tab in your editor menus bar, click on the preferences tab. And then package control. And then click on install package. Wait a minute, a pop-up will come up and type browser thing here. But I have already installed this plugin, so it will not display it here again. But in your case, you click on the browser thing in the drop-down menu. Then the installation process will start and the browser sync tab will be added on your menu bar. Okay. 
one more thing go back to the command prompt and click on the X button here to close the command prompt next time you come back to the command prompt just type SUBL and click enter to open the Sublime Text Editor. No extra command is needed. And click the X button at the top right corner to close the command prompt. Okay, that's all for now. In the next video, we will talk about how to create four pages with navigation bar for the website. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the bell to receive alerts on my new uploads. Thanks for watching.